Hi YouTube family, it's me Dr. Nicolia. Excited to be here with you guys. Um, today's video will be a little bit different than most of my videos uh, just because I, I had a rough month and I'm just going to be really transparent with you guys because I think that there's a valuable lesson in, in just about everything if we can shift our perspective on it. Um, on June 8th, 2020, I lost my stepbrother and um, it's a brother I was really close to. It, to know him was to love him. He was very funny. He was very entertaining. If he could give you his last, he would. He wouldn't have a pot to piss in, but if you needed something, he'd figure out how to get it to you, right? Um, he was amazing, and unfortunately, I lost him really quick. And so, um, luckily, my, my business had been somewhat on automation, so there was a point that I was able to pull back, really process, um, spend time with my family, just process my thoughts. Um, and so this is a very like in the moment video. There's no editing. There's no nothing because I it's raw and real, but I need you guys to understand this. So throughout my processing stage, I, I started to just try to understand how short life is to really understand what my life means to really understand what's happening in the grand scheme of things, right? Um, my brother was 31 years old. And I read a study which has like the top five regrets of people that are dying and there was a nurse who did some research on like cancer patients or people that told they were told they basically had a short time to live and just really honed in on what their regrets were right because I think when we live life we find things that we think are of the utmost importance that have zero importance in the grand scheme of things right and then when it comes to the end of life it's like the things that really, really have importance, we realize that we didn't spend as much time on it. Um, and I refuse to be that person, right? I refuse to get to the end of my life, and if I die, whether I die suddenly or slowly, um, I refuse to be that person that is questioning why I didn't do something, questioning why I lived the way I did, questioning why I put value in things that didn't really deserve value. And so there were two regrets of the top five that really stood out for me. And you can Google the study and you can find them. Um, actually, I'll just read the top five. I was sharing them in a text message with a friend, so they're up here. But um, number one is I wish that I had the courage to live a life true to myself and not the life others expected of me. Um, number two, I wish I hadn't worked so hard. Number three, I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. Number four, I wish I'd stayed in touch with my friends. And number five, I wish I had let myself be happier. The ones that stood out to me the most were number one, wishing that you had the courage to live a life true to yourself. Um, and number four, being in touch with family and friends. And so that's what I just wanna come and share with you guys today. Touch on number four, because that's as simple as put. We cannot let life get in the way of maintaining contact with those we love the most because in any given moment, they can be taken from us like that. And it is so important um, that we find reasons to be in contact with them. My, my brother's birthday is coming up really soon. Um, and we talked probably about probably about a week before he passed about his birthday. Um, and it's just like, are we going to kick it for your birthday? Like, what are we going to do? And then how everything just shifted, right? Especially with Corona, um, everything is like, well, no, I can't hang out with you because of Corona, but I still love you from a distance, bro. But then it's like, hey, this is, life is too short. Like, I didn't even get a chance to see if Corona changed. I, it just happened so quick. Um, so just stay in touch with those you love and make no excuses um, to not spend time with them. Even in, in Corona, there's too many opportunities, social media, um, Zoom, Skype phone calls, texts, there's so many ways to contact people. And I'm grateful that the last conversation I had with my brother was positive. Um, I'm grateful that the last time I saw him was amazing. Um, I'm grateful that we were able to talk and that I didn't like use Corona as an excuse to not to speak to him, even if that meant we weren't actually together on his birthday. Um, but stay in touch with those you love. The second thing that really stood out to me was number one, living a life not true to ourselves. I think that so many times we are so worried about what everybody else thinks. Um, I know for me, when I started my business, I was like, well, what if people think I'm a fraud? What if um, people don't think that I'm qualified? What if my family judges me because I went to school for this certain thing, but I'm really passionate about this? Like I had so many ideas that prevented me from actually moving forward with ever starting my business. Now, eventually I, I was able to start moving through those barriers one by one, but what if I had passed before that happened? Do not wait until you are on your deathbed to actually, to actually say, you know what? I really wish that I had done this, but I didn't do it because of this. No more excuses. We have to stop living a life for other people because other people don't have to live our lives. 
at the end of the day, we're the ones that we have to answer to. We're the ones that we have to live with the longest. So we might as well make it worth it. So thinking of these two things, I just, I literally am back um, from the funeral. I'm dog dead tired. Um, I'm emotionally exhausted. I'm physically exhausted. But thinking of these two things, I want you to think about it. I want you to, one, I want you to think about who you need to contact that you haven't contacted. Um, and you got to make stop making excuses for that, right? Who do you need to contact in this moment? Number two, what are you running from in order to please somebody else? And how can you live more in alignment with who you know you're called to be? How can you live a life today that your future self looking back will be like, you know what? I'm glad that you actually did that. I think if we begin to think like that every single day, if that means we got to contact somebody we love every single day, if that means we got to ask ourselves every day, is what I'm doing right now something that my future self's going to thank me for? If we start to live in that intentional way, those two things specifically, then we get to grow old. Um, we get to lay on our deathbed content, not with regret, not sad, not, oh, woe, it's me, not, oh, I wish, right? Don't die with regrets. I, I once read a quote that basically said the graveyard is the richest place in the world because so many people die with powerful ideas. So many people die with powerful messages that they never shared. Don't let that be you. Because if my brother taught me anything, that's what I'm committed to is making sure that I maintain contact with my family, making sure I live a life aligned with who I really desire to be and making sure that I'm not in that graveyard rich. I want to give my value here while I'm alive so that my legacy can live long beyond me. So sorry that this message wasn't um, typical, but I felt so I felt so strong in my spirit. Like it was, it's time for bed. My hair is all over the place. I'm, I'm so exhausted, but I felt so strong in my spirit to, to share this, to jump on here and to let you guys know that we have to live more intentionally, intentionally, we have to live by design and no longer by default. I love you guys. I'm praying for you guys. Please continue to keep my family lifted in prayer. Thank you for the messages um, and DMs and everything else that you guys have done. Thank you for the prayers. Um, but I just, I knew that I wouldn't be able to sleep if I didn't at least get that off. So have an amazing, amazing evening or day, depending upon when you're watching this. And I will chat with you guys later.